Hello, I'm Jacob. This is the Hidden Hauler Homestead, and today we are milling out some dimensional lumber with my friend Prentice from Projects by Nights. He has YouTube and Instagram. I'm going to put links to his social media in the description box below. You definitely need to check him out and his family. So, he brought over his sawmill to help me make this dimensional lumber. As you may know from our last episode, we are building a pole barn. And so, in the last episode, basically we dropped some locust and some pine and ended up getting them pulled out here. It was quite the, uh, the doing. But once we have the logs and the sawmill and everything, we had to get them cleaned off. And to start out, you've got to get a flat surface on the top of the log. And from there, you're just milling dimensional lumber. So luckily, not only was Prentice there, but my dad and my brother as well. They were visiting for our uh, gender reveal party. Anyways, <coughs> so what we're milling here is pine. And the pine is going to make up the top section of the pole barn. Flipping these logs was difficult. Uh, they were really big and really heavy. But once you have them square, getting your dimensional lumber out of them is actually pretty quick. So it was really cool seeing trees that we had just dropped being made into lumber the next day on our property for something we were going to build on our property. That was really fulfilling. So what we're milling here is true 2 inch by 4 inch, 2 by 4s, and 2 inch by 6 inch or 8 inch. I, I can't remember now. 2 by whatevers. And uh, they're a little heavy. They are a little bit heavy. Not only are they still green, but they're massive. Looking at these 2 by 4s, they almost look like they'd be twice as big as a normal commercial 2 by 4. Once we had the log set up right, we were pumping out three of these two by fours per cut. And at that point, we really started getting a lot of work done quickly. And we were really surprised actually about how much wood we got out of these pine trees, even the top section that was smaller and kind of knotty, uh, we still got quite a bit of wood out of it. So that was really exciting. There's, there are a few things as, uh, as nice as the smell of fresh cut sawdust. Jeremiah here just got out of the military, the guy who's pulling this 2x4 right now. And uh, I don't think he's done a whole lot of work like this before. The, uh, the Timberly sawmill that Prentice is using is just incredible. And it was really cool loading up my truck as well. Um, of course, Jimbo's awesome. He's always out here with us. It kind of uh, made a point to me about the truck. Not only for a bug out vehicle do you need to get out of Dodge, but you also need a working tool once you are somewhere with limited resources. Once we were done with the pine, all of the locust that we had dropped was in the front yard. So I hooked up the old Alice Chalmers and uh, we brought the whole show over to the front yard, uh, which, trust me, Mariah was not very happy about because we were having the party in the front yard only hours later. So that was certainly a point of contention, but um, it turned out pretty well. We had a lot of help. What we were trying to do with these locust logs, they weren't quite as straight as you'd like to get a true six by six, but we weren't really worried about that. So we were getting them squarish enough, at least on two sides, to be used for posts like we wanted. I guess most husbands probably aren't milling out locust posts in their front yard right before a gender reveal party, so maybe Mariah has a good reason to be frustrated with that but uh, you know as usual it all, it all turned out all right I think everybody at the party appreciated it man 
So once we were unloading all of the firewood from the truck, we realized just how much firewood, I'm sorry, lumber we actually had. Uh, really, really cool. We actually would not have gotten it all done in time if it wasn't for my friends, the Shoe Bottom family. Uh, Noah and Brian and Luke and the whole family came out and actually helped us get done in time for the party. And we were literally like, I was getting out of the shower and maybe just finish up a couple small things before everybody started getting there. So literally it was down to the minute. So I really appreciate them. Noah has his own YouTube channel as well. It's Bushcraft to Survive. And if you like the knife reviews and the camping videos, definitely check him out. I'll put a link to him in the description box below as well. This was an incredibly fulfilling project, getting all of this lumber out here. It's actually currently sitting under a tarp, which it wasn't supposed to be sitting under a tarp this long. But uh, I got a little bit behind and then I broke my leg. So at this moment, currently, all of this lumber is sitting under a tarp, probably warping. And I got to figure out how I'm going to get out there and get this project finished. When I'm able to do that, I will certainly be sharing a video with you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'm going to try and do more videos like this um, as the homestead comes together and our life changes. So uh, please let me know what you think in the comment section below, and I hope that you have a blessed day.